What's going on YouTube? It's Barrymore and today I want to start a new series. Uh, for every Tuesday I want to I want to open up a new box for you guys and I want to show off what cards I pulled out of these boxes. And I thought I'd start off with a Great Legends bo booster box. So I want to do this every Tuesday and uh, see what kind of pulls we get and, and just talk about the cards a little bit. Maybe the format that we were talk uh, that we are pulling from and how the format was back in the day. And I say back in the day like if it was years ago but it was literally just like maybe like a year, year and a half for this set. Uh, but it was really, it was a really nice set. Uh, it introduced a few mechanics uh, like digi bursting, and it, it introduced the uh, the Agunimon and Lobamon. So the hybrids came out in this set uh, for red and, it only came out for red and blue at the time, but soon to be introduced to more colors and uh, the, the future sets coming after this one. But right off the bat, we get the Marcus Damon box topper, which Marcus Damon uh, wasn't used as much. It was used in like a tribal war gray or Greymon because you could reduce the digivolution cost uh, by tapping it whenever you would digivolve. No, no, I'm sorry. When you attacked, you would get a memory back with the Marcus Damon. That's what it was. Uh, not used as much, like I said, but in tribal war grays or Greymon decks, they were used uh, quite a bit. Uh, supposedly in BT12, you're, you're going to be seeing a lot more play with it. Simply because of the Shine Greymon support coming out, uh, but let's see what else kind of what other kind of pulls we get, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about them. The Fugimon was a one-cost Digivolution for Red, easy way to get into your level fives um, without passing too much memory or keeping memory. We got a Trident Revolver, and we get a Lilamon. Lilamon had a um, the ability to Digi Burst and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, it's an easy way for you to swing over something that you didn't want to. Uh, on the field on, on your opponent's side. Pretty good card. Got the Vermilion Mon. was another cheap evolution for yellow. Uh, blocker as well. So easy way to get a blocker on the field and not pass memory or not use up too much of your memory. And back then blockers were very, very good. Not many ways to get over them. Chaos Mon is a rare. Chaos Mon is a really good card. Easy way to pass turn and then swing over one of your unsuspended Digimons because you would be able to unsuspend on Digivolution, swing over an unsuspended Digimon on their side of the field, and it had piercing. So easy way to get a few checks uh, off of their security as well as destroy one of their bigger body Digimons. Tobiamon, another one cost evolution for uh, for blue decks. Easy way to get up to your level fives. Got the Victory Greyman and oh my god, Ancient Garurumon Secret Rare Alternate Art. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the foil on this. Right there you can see the uh, Lusamon wing on the left side for for just a little. But that's an awesome pull. Alternate R Seeker Rare. What a great way to, to start the series with this with an with a alternate R Seeker Rare. Definitely, definitely happy about that pull. Got the Agumon with the Inheritable. When Digi bursted, you would put it back into your into your hand. So you can digivolve into it with raising in case you needed a rookie. We got the werewolf mode, Cerberus Mon. That deck or that card was used. It's still used actually a lot in, in loop decks. It was made very popular with the Lilith Mon loop. They abused the hell out of that card for sure. Another Pedomon, Leomon, Vermilimon, Falcomon was in rookie rush decks. Or oh my god, Agunimon. There it goes. There goes the man Aguni with the uh, with the hybrid. Hybrid for game, that's where it all started in BT4. Hybrid for game. Lobo for game for blue. I forget about these memory markers in BT4 is when they, after BT4 is when they stopped giving those memory markers in, uh, in sets because at BT5, I don't think they had it in BT5. If they did, it might be the one after that. Got the Commander Mon Rare. Commander Mon is a staple in any D Brigade now. Whenever uh, whenever you want to make a D Brigade deck, you have to have a mandatory of that deck. It's, I mean, that card is just too good. On deletion, look at the top three and you get to play a Commander Mon for free. Easy way to get an easy, uh, a, a free check and then bring out another, bo another body. And there goes the Lobo Mon. Ziguru Mon. Ziguru Mon didn't see much play. It was a pretty ni a niche card if, if, I, if I wanted to describe it in any way. Another Vermilimon, Meteormon, Maycrack, the weaker version. The Kenogurumon Mon was another hybrid as well. Not as strong, or I mean, it was a little. It was strong, but it was a three-cost Evo instead of a two-cost, like Lobo. And here we have the super rare Oddemon. 
that card was a powerhouse check plus one um easy way to get extra security checks off of your opponent's uh stack of security just to get that much closer to winning a battle strabimon was the very first uh tamer searcher not the very first but it was one of the the og uh searchers for, for tamers that are used that were used a lot in uh hybrid decks especially like blue hybrid and red hybrid check the top three and you search for a uh, tamer super rare chaos mount vaulder arm really good way to pass turn uh, and get two bodies off of your opponent's field or just a big body because on digivolution you would minus 7000 dp one up to two digimon and you can use it on on one big body digimon so you can get rid of a level six easily and then on deletion you gain two memory so an easy way to pass memory get some bodies off the board and secure you some memory in case they try to delete it with like a gaia force or something super rare plutamon really nice draw two cards and then you can use an option card of six or less i tried making this deck work it just did not work for me <laughs> and there's my cousin's hand he's looking at me watch or uh watching me unbox this this box for you guys Flame Mon was also just like Lobo, uh, not Lobo, uh, he was kind of like the Strabi Mon, search the top three for a Tamer. And we got the super rare Blast Mon, check plus one. And then I believe if they try to attack, you could change it to Blast Mon. I think that was the effect, but I know he had he was a 13k body with check plus one. And then if you paired him up with his uh, his option card, Final, Final Zubagon Punch, you get him an extra 3,000 3, DP and you get Reboot Blocker and an extra check really good way to to clear their security and, and secure your big body blocker got the geo Greymon, another digi burst card volcanic Dramon, security check plus one inheritable very nice card and then we got the kari camille oh my god this kari such a pain in the butt secon players know what i'm talking about or anybody who's gone against secon players that is a mandatory three or four staple in a uh, set con because Jesus, it's so annoying to deal with. Whenever you remove a stack from the security, they get uh, an extra an extra memory by tapping her. And we got the Blastmon Altar right after the Blastmon. Nice. Very nice. Blastmon alternate art. The alternate arts in this, in this game are just so good looking. I, I love the alternate art, uh, arts. They're all very nice, and that's this is why I got into Digimon as well because it's just like I just love con con collecting the alternate arts. My goal is to have a one of each at least. Another Marcus Damon, along with the Izzy. The Izzy was probably the best Black Tamer that Black, that Black had for a while because when you would play it, you would look at the top three of your of your stack of your deck, and then you would rearrange them as you wanted to on the top of your deck, and then you would gain memory back. If you they were all black cards, so easy way to make a, a four cost tamer into a three cost. And there goes a final Zubagon punch. That was that goes well with the Blastmon. Blinding Ray. Blinding Ray was just such a good card. Trash the top security and then gain two memory. Easy way to extend your plays. Go into your War Greymon, and we'll talk about the War Greymon here in a bit. But the War Greymon, whenever you would use that, easy way to get into your level sixes with uh with any yellow deck. down to our last six packs and see what else we got we already got the alternate art and the secret rare and luckily one of the secret rares was an alternate art so that was that was a plus a huge plus and this said i'm not sure if i mentioned it before but there's three secret rares in this one lucimon ancient gurumon ancient graymon and i see a shiny it's gonna be a dan devimon dan devimon was also a really nice control card for purple on deletion they have to trash two cards from their deck or i'm sorry from their hand and then if they did they attack the security or they remove the security from your security stack they would have to remove one of their own really good way to control their their the, the board and and you know most of the time they didn't want to keep that on the field so they want to try to get rid of it uh so they would have to trash two cards from their hand and there goes the boy war Greymon. war Greymon was the deck to play in bt5 or bt4 i'm sorry bt4 war Greymon was just so powerful it did too much like way too much on attack you would take a, a stack a card from your security stack restand and minus 6000 dp one of their digimon so if you wanted to you could swing into a big body 
take off a, a security, give them minus 6,000, and you would, if you weren't stronger than them or if you were equal to them, lower their six, their six, their, their body by 6,000 and swing over it and then re-stand on top of that. So this is why Yellow was running Rampage because there was no counter to DP reduction at the time and it was just, it was just so good to, to, to run. It was just topping tournaments left and right. And it was a pretty super aggressive deck as well because I'm mean, getting two checks in one turn and then clearing board it was just icing on the cake down to our last two packs um i think we're already done with our super rares there might be one more left i know we got the alternate on the secret so well, it's high shiny so we we got one more to go let's see what we pull bushy bushy for game and we got a bell wolf mon sweet sweet card i believe the bell wolf mon you couldn't attack into it if you had no Digivolution cards. If your opponent had no Digivolution cards. So good way to uh, keep him on the field and swing in. Because uh, he had jamming as well. And our last pack is going to be two su two rares. Because we already pulled all super rares and the alternate art with the secret. Chaos Spawn and a Dark Roar. Good way to end it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week's videos where we open another booster box.